Hello, who's this? Hello, Ripster. Where did you put the baby? It's right here! What? I'm going to kill you. That was weird. Reputized video. Black Christmas was directed by Bob Clark, came out in 1974, and stars Olivia Hussey and John Saxon. And it follows a serial killer who stalks the girls of the sorority house during their Christmas vacation. Very simple. Your classic basic slasher film. And an interesting one to boot. This film is considered to be one of the first main slasher films that donned the big screen behind the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre, A Bay of Blood, Psycho, and Peeping Tom. This film has so many levels of comparisons to me with Halloween. Even though this film came out before Halloween, Halloween donned the screen in 1978. This one came out in 1974, but still, there's a lot of comparisons. It's scary. It's dark. There's a lot of mystery to it. All the right ingredients for a slasher movie. Roy Moore's storytelling was just genius. He made it really dark. He made it very eerie. It was a really good story, and I really liked it a lot. I really enjoyed it. Unlike the remake, the 2006 remake, which I didn't fancy as much, this one really hit home with me. Olivia Hussey played the main character, Jess. You kind of figure out who the final girl is, and you, it's kind of obvious. It's kind of apparent. But I, think, I thought she did a really good job, and as I watched it, I realized, oh, that's the same woman that played Norman Bates' mother in Psycho 4, which Psycho 4 wasn't really that loved on, but that's the same woman. So I was, I was, surprised, I was surprised about that. John Saxon, who played the lieutenant, Lieutenant Fuller, did a really good job, and he's also the guy that played in three of the Nightmare movies as Nancy's father, the main characters in those. I thought he did a pretty good job. He was forceful, he was serious, and he wanted to make sure he wanted to catch this guy who kept on making those obscene phone calls and everything. So I liked his character a lot. There's really not a single character that I didn't care for other than the old woman. Uh, she was like over the soror sorority house. But other than her, I found all the other characters enjoyable. Like I said, there's a bunch of comparisons to Halloween. And what I mean by that is there's a POV shot, which stands for point of view. And Halloween did that at the beginning when Michael was sneaking up to the house to his sister and put the mask on and everything. In this film, you get that. A little. It's not like one shot though, like with uh, what Halloween did, but it, it was really interesting and you could hear the breathing in the back, just like you could hear Michael Myers in Halloween with those POV shots. And I thought that was really awesome. It's like I was watching a Halloween movie at that moment. It was a slasher with a point of view shot and I really enjoy those. They never do those anymore nowadays. The killer, oh my god. I loved it. You don't get to see him. You don't get backstory compared to what the remakes showed, which I thought was a little too much and very unnecessary. But in this, they keep them a mystery, just like they kept Michael Myers a mystery in Halloween. You don't know where this guy came from. He's just there. He just shows up out of the blue like a shadow in the night. And I really do enjoy that. That's, that's the kind of slasher that really, really hits home with me. And you could tell this guy was mentally unstable because he would call the uh, characters in this from the house and make funny voices and just be all crazy. Something has happened this, to this guy to make him the way it is, but you never get to find that out. They, like I said, they just keep him a mystery, and I think that works really well in a movie like this. The original script was intended to be a little more graphic, there's going to be more murder scenes, more blood, more gore. But the director felt it would be more effective if they toned that down a little bit. I think that was the right choice. Now I know what I said in my other reviews, I never complain when there's gore on there and I always enjoy plenty of gore, but if you do it right, like the filmmakers did in Black Christmas, I think it works the best. If you know what you're doing and you do it right and you film every scene accordingly, 
the less gore and the more mystery you have, the better. And I think that's what these filmmakers was going for, and it was they did a really good job. I really did enjoy it. So for me, the gore wasn't really that important. It's the mystery of the whole thing, like who's in the attic, who's down in the basement, what's around that corner. Ah! You just don't know. That's the, that's the scary part of things. And I thought that made this film a lot better. Regional H. Morris's cinematography and lighting was just awesome. I won't spoil anything for you, but there's a scene in there where he was getting ready to kill somebody. And the lighting hit his face so perfectly. The shot is focused like how the camera is on me right now. But picture the light really dark and just like a little flashlight or a little beam of light hit my eye. Hit like this corner of my eye. And that's how, that's how that scene went. And I thought that was, oh, I was like this the whole time. I thought that was really awesome. And I thought they lit that up just perfectly. This whole movie was lit up just perfectly. You could see what was going on. But in the very dark scenes, it's, it's like, wow. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before in a movie until now. Stan Cole's editing was just really done really good. It wasn't, it wasn't choppy. It, I think he did a good job on that. Carl's score was done really well. Um, again, it gave it that creepy, dark vibe. Like you were watching something really scary, and I, I thought he added a really good touch to the score. But yeah, check Black Christmas, the 1974 version, out as soon as you can. Check that one out over the remake. You could pretty much look past the remake, because that one's... <sighs> Just don't. Black Christmas, 1974, gets an A+. Thank you for watching this video, guys. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, get reputized, share. Make sure to subscribe to my Reactor Reactions Galore channel, which is in the link down in the description below. And make sure to like the Repster and the Reactor on Facebook, which is also down below. What did you think of Black Christmas, the original Black Christmas? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think. Stay tuned for more reviews coming soon. My review for Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3 should be out soon here in the next couple days. Peace the river.